assignment. I get sent to a lot of places I can't even pronounce. They all spell the same thing, though, trouble. This time, it's South America. Two countries down there are feuding, and we're right in the middle. One country is accusing the president of the other, Dr. Avila, of trying to start a war against them with our help. And they say they've got proof. This I gotta see. It's Wednesday when I land in the capital of the accused country. It doesn't take me long to feel the tension in the streets. That's that ugly lull you get just before a storm breaks, and the storm in this case could be war. Yeah, I'm sitting right on top of a powder keg, and I've got a hunch that the fuse is real short. They rush me out to a big villa where delegates from both countries are waiting to start an emergency conference. Senor Barrido, as the representative of our two countries, I sincerely hope we will both approach this conference in the proper spirit. Indeed. I'm afraid it is a little too late for both you and your country to approach this in the proper spirit. Proud. <laughs> Colonel Peralta? Yes. Oh. Senor Steve Mitchell. I'm glad to see you, Senor Mitchell, even under these circumstances. Perhaps you'd better tell me what the circumstances are. They shot me down here in such a rush that all I know is the deal just adds up to trouble. It does indeed. Come. As you know, our Presidente is Dr. Avila. Yesterday morning, across the border, his son-in-law was found murdered. On the body was a letter supposedly written by Dr. Avila and addressed to your council. What kind of a letter? A secret one, disclosing a plot against the country across the border to be entered into by my government with the help of yours. What? See, si. the story is that Dr. Avila gave him the letter to deliver, but the son-in-law, formerly a citizen of the country across the border, took it there to expose the plot. Our agent supposedly overtook him and killed him, but did not have time to recover the letter. Oh, brother. Have you seen this letter? No, it is at present in the custody of Senor Barrero. He, he's the representative of the other country. Do you think that uh, the doctor really signed that letter? I, I cannot bring myself to believe it. Senor Mitchell, as second in command of my government, this places a heavy responsibility upon me. If the letter is proved to be genuine. Yeah. Who's the girl? Oh, Senorita Barbara Dawson, an American newspaper correspondent, chosen by Lot to cover the conference for the press. And the man on her left is Baron Ludwig. Baron Ludwig? A retired European nobleman who owns this via. He is being selected as a referee. The other man is the handwriting expert, chosen by both sides. I see. Well, I guess my next job is to get a look at that letter. Where is this Senor Barrero? Yes. Come, I will take you to him. Come in, gentlemen. Baron Ludwig? This is Senor Steve Mitchell from the United States. We Baron. have been awaiting your arrival, Mr. Mitchell. Thank you, Baron Ludwig. I understand you're going to be referee in this. Yes, I am entirely impartial. Uh, Mr. Mitchell, Senor Barrero. Perhaps the choice of the Baron is not satisfactory to Senor Mitchell. 
Why shouldn't it be? I thought perhaps you might prefer someone more partial to you. Someone who could perhaps uh, help gloss over your government's unsavory position in this matter. Senor Barrero. Okay, all right, Colonel, right, let him talk. You profess a policy of non-intervention. You make great ballyhoo about it. Yet this letter will prove conclusively that you've made an agreement with Dr. Avila to give his country direct military aid so that he may attack my country. You would help a scheming tyrant like Avelo. You have no right to talk like this. Nothing has been proven, nothing. And until it has, you have no right to talk like this. I assure you it will be. And when it is, you'll be faced with a decision. If your country wants peace, they will have to throw this scheming tyrant out. If not, my country has no alternative but to declare war. You cannot talk like this about my president. None of this is true, and I will not take listen to you. Gentlemen, this is no time for violence. We must be calm. Any demands which you feel compelled to call upon should be saved for the proper place, the conference room. I'm sorry to lose control. You know, so far I've heard a lot of talk about this letter, but I haven't seen it. Oh, I see. You would call me a liar, eh? Barrero, I'm not calling anyone anything until I see the letter. I suggest you do the same. You shall see it. I thought the letter was to be introduced in the conference. It will be. But I have to show it to some skeptical people first to be sure that they will know that it exists. Trusting Saul, aren't you? <laughs> Your government has shown it cannot be trusted. Why should I trust one of its representatives? Look, Barrero, I'm no. getting tired. <laughs> Interesting reading, isn't it? I, I cannot believe it. You see the handwriting and the signature. Fernando Avelo, your beloved Presidente. That is enough for now, gentlemen. The letter will be read in its entirety at the conference. Then it will be proven that it is not a forgery. Why lock it up again, Senor Barrero? The conference is almost ready to start. That's right. This way, gentlemen. You seem rather quiet, Senor Peralta. Now that you know that the letter really does exist, Perhaps he's thinking the same thing I am. Is the handwriting authentic? <laughs> You've seen enough samples of your Presidente's handwriting. Do you think the letter is a forgery? <laughs> it looks genuine. Oh, brother. I'd better get over to see this Dr. Avila. Maybe some cards in this deck that I don't know about. Where is the palace? Far from here? Well, it's only a few minutes from here. Mm. But the conference is to start shortly. All right, stall somehow. Get that newspaper woman. Have her interview you or somebody. I'll be right back. Very well. So I head for the palace, realizing that this deal is getting more serious by the moment. At the gate, I show my credentials to the guard, and I'm taken to a second-floor drawing room. I would like to see Dr. Avila. I am Signora Margarita, Dr. Avila's daughter. How do you do, Signora? Why do you wish to see my father? Well, I'd rather talk to him about that, if you don't mind. My father will speak to no one. Margarita. Dr. Avila? Yes? I'm uh, Steve Mitchell from the United States. I presume you are here to speak with me regarding the present situation. Well, yes. I am sorry, Senor Mitchell. I would rather not discuss it with you until after the conference. Ah, uh, well... I think it is best. Good day, Mr. Mitchell. Good day, Doctor. How long must we put up with these obvious stalling tactics? Mr. Mitchell, 
We have been waiting for you. I'm sorry. I don't believe you have met Miss Barbara Dawson, the correspondent. Hi. Hello. Come on, let us go. He wouldn't talk about it. Miss Dawson. Mr. Mitchell, will you sit here? Colonel Peralta. We all know the purpose of this conference. I sincerely hope the outcome will be a peaceful one. Senor Berrero, you may have the floor first. I shall make my remarks brief and let the facts speak for themselves. The facts are clear and they reflect no credit upon the government represented by Colonel Peralta and that represented by our friend from the north. This letter written by Dr. Avilia proves conclusively that he has been negotiating a secret agreement which constitutes a direct plot against the security of my country. Having exposed this plot, my country demand... Miss Dawson, what's the matter? I'm sorry. I feel a little faint. If I could have a drink of water. I'll get it. Oh. I'm sorry, I lost my balance. You're feeling better? Uh, yes, thank you. Uh, let me help you. Oh, never mind, I'll get Thank you. You uh, may go ahead. Senor Barrero. Thank you. Where is the meeting? Where? In there, Senora. Senora. As I started to say, we demand that this. I demand that this meeting be stopped. What does it mean? Senora Margarita. You must stop this meeting at once. I have never it, seen anything. This is an insult to my father. Please, Senora Margarita. Just a minute, Senora Margarita. Please, you can do the most good for your father by returning to the palace at once. But this meeting is an insult. This meeting is necessary, Senora. Rest assured, I will inform you of the outcome at once. Por favor. All right. Gracias. I'm very sorry. Gentlemen, I, uh, I believe we may continue. Baron Ludwig, I do not feel it is too much to ask you that this conference be spared any further interruptions of this sort. I trust there will be no more. Please continue. Very well. As you know, the letter in question was found upon the body of General Avilia's son-in-law. Now, my theory is... Let's get down off that theory, Claude Barrero. Start dealing in facts. You wish facts, Senor Mitchell? Very well, you shall have facts. First, I will show this letter to our eminent handwriting expert, Senor Cardoza. After he has definitely proven the authenticity of this letter, we will know then. Empty! The letter, it is gone! Who did this? Who did this? But why do you look at me? Senor Barrero, do you think that I... Rato, I hold you personally responsible for the disappearance of this letter! I have an accusation to Wait a minute, Claudia, no. break it up. You no. no. outrageous! I never saw anything. Excuse me. Everybody leaving. What kind of a conference? Excuse me. Senor Barrero, I can do nothing. I am helpless. Hold it, sister. What's the big idea? That's a good question. Why don't you answer it yourself? Where do you think you're going? I want to get to a phone. I'm sorry, Senorita Dawson, but for the moment I must forbid it. Oh, but this is news. It's important. It is more important that we recover the letter. God, for the present, no one is to leave this via. Since this incident has occurred in my own country, I must now take charge. No one will be allowed to leave the conference until he has been searched. I will officiate here, and a policewoman will search Senorita Dawson. We searched everyone, everyone. Yeah. Who could have taken that letter? Search me. Oh, wait a minute, you already did that. 
I had to give Senorita Barbara Dawson permission to telephone her story with great reluctance. But what else could I do? Nothing. If you'd have suppressed it, it'd make it look even worse, if that's possible. This whole affair is playing right into Barrio's hands. My country is in disgrace. What about mine? Now, wait a minute. Let's go back over everything that happened. Very well. Barrio brought the envelope into the room. Right. He opened it and glanced briefly inside, just before the conference was called to order. You were standing behind him? Yes. And at that moment, the letter definitely was inside the envelope. I saw it. Then he closed the envelope, put the envelope back on the table. The meeting started and... Hey, wait a minute. Barbara Dawson. Yeah, you remember when she knocked that stuff off the table with the letter? You're talking about me, Steve? Oh, hello, Barbara. Did you get your headline off? I sure did. As a matter of fact, we were talking about you. I'm flattered. You shouldn't be. What we were saying and thinking wasn't good. Oh? I didn't realize you knew me that well, Steve. Well, that painting spell of yours. Oh, that. I don't know what hit me. It hit you at a rather convenient time. You recovered very rapidly, senorita. What are you trying to say? Just this. When you knocked that envelope and the other stuff off the table, you could have switched envelopes under the table. Oh? Mind telling me why I do a thing like that? Sure. For money. Both countries would give a lot of it for the letter in that envelope. Oh, I see. Play one against the other and sell to the highest bidder, huh? Well, it's an interesting theory, isn't it? Oh, very, very. A couple of little things wrong with it, though, Steve. What's that? Well, in the first place, you're giving me credit for a lot more interest in this deal than I really have. Just what is your interest in this matter, senorita? I'm a reporter, that's all. And you have no further connection with the parties involved? Of course not. And here's another thing wrong with your theory, Steve. I was searched. Remember? No letter. Yeah. Well, I guess that clears you up, Barbara. Thank you. Let me know if you find another suspect. I could always use a good follow-up story. Rolla. What is it? There was one other person in that room during the conference that wasn't searched. But everyone... Senora Margarita. Hmm. Remember how she came in and all that fluster and confusion? She could have picked up the envelope. El Presidente's daughter. But surely, Mitchell, you cannot expect me to go to the palace and make such an accusation. You don't have to. I will. On the way to the palace, I can see that the story of the letter's disappearance has hit the streets. People are beginning to gather, and what they're saying isn't good. It looks like the storm could break any moment. Senor Mitchell. Senora. What do you wish now, Senor Mitchell? Senora, the letter has been stolen. What? Does that surprise you? Of course. Why shouldn't it? Well, I kind of wondered if you took it. Senor, you are joking. That's a bum joke. You know, I can understand you're wanting to protect your father, even to shield him. Shield him? I do not have to shield him. He is innocent. He did not write that letter. I'm sure of it. Did he say that? My father would consider it beneath his dignity to say anything about it. I see. But the letter is still missing. I did not take it. You are the only person to leave that room before his disappearance was discovered. Senor Mitchell, don't you see that if I had taken that letter, I would be hurting my father far more than helping him? Yes, I see that. I just wanted to be sure that you do. You must believe me. I do. Yeah, I guess you do. Well, thank you, Senor. Excuse me. Yes. If you do not produce the letter in five minutes, Peralta, I will make my official report to my government, and then you will suffer the consequences. There's trouble at the palace. An angry mob is throwing rocks into the windows. I must go at once. I was afraid this would happen. Excuse me. 
Well, if you were looking for a headline, I guess you got one. I certainly have. Senorita Dawson, when you write your story, you may say that our two countries have severed relationships. Oh, I will take one of your cigarettes, senor. You have a match, senor? Thank you. <laughs> I ask you for a match. Huh? Oh, empty, huh? American cigarettes. I cannot stand it. There goes the ball game. Barrero wins. Point, set, and match. Match. Then I get it. One empty, one full. And they both came out of the same pocket. Senor. What do you want? What does this mean? Here. Lock that up in the safe right away. An airline timetable? What does this mean, Mitchell? You're the only one I can trust. Ludwig had the combination of that safe changed for you, didn't he? Yes, but I... Well, then it'll be safe there. Uh, an airline timetable? Uh... Look, that's a very important piece of evidence. It'll explain the whole deal. All right. I don't understand this. all the time. What's the matter? Here, get that handwriting expert in here. Also a pen and ink for him. I think he'll want to write a confession. I've got an errand to do. Peralta? Dr. Avila, I'm afraid I cannot keep the people in check much longer. What do you suggest? Well, I... I would rather cut off my arm than say this, but... Speak. You know my loyalty. I cannot believe you wrote that letter. But its disappearance has the same effect as if it were genuine. Here is the microphone. It is connected to all the radio stations and to loudspeakers in the square and in all the streets. When the light goes on in a minute or two, it will be time to speak. I have prepared this for your signature. It is a proclamation vesting me with temporary control of the government. No. I sincerely believe this is the only course of action that will keep our country out of war. Congratulations, Peralta. You almost made it. What do you mean? Just that you and Barrero rigged this whole deal as a gag so you could take over the government? You are insane. With the help of the people that thought that you were saving them from war. Do not listen to him. See, the whole thing depended on us believing that the letter was in the conference room. You even said you saw it over Barrero's shoulder. You lied. No. You are lying. I'm sorry. Your so-called letter is right now in the hands of your handwriting expert. 
Ricardo. Have you got a refrigerator? Si, senor. Put him on ice. Senor Mitchell. Gracias, senor. Our heartfelt gratitude. Hey. Looks like you're on the air. I'm sure your own words will be better than those. 